On August 3rd of 2022, a new volcanic eruption began on the Reckonis Peninsula of Iceland at the Krishavik Volcanic System, sending plumes of volcanic gases into the air and erupting molten rock from a lengthy fissure. As several fountains of lava were ejected to modest heights along the initially 100 meter long fissure on the side of a hill, something became clear. Lava was erupting at a higher rate than witnessed during the 2021 eruption at Geldinga Dollar. Whereas that eruption initially erupted lava at a rate of 5 cubic meters per second and went on to average 9.33 cubic meters per second, this new eruption is averaging 32 cubic meters per second. This means that the eruption is emitting lava at a rate nearly seven times higher than witnessed during the prior eruption which began 1500 meters to the southwest. Some people might incorrectly think that this means the eruption will be much shorter. This is not necessarily the case. However, what is clear is that this eruption appears to have a higher gas content in the magma than their prior event. While an intrusion of magma took 24 days to reach the surface in 2021, this intrusion which results in the ongoing eruption only took 5 days to break through to the surface. If the rate of lava fusion continues at its present rate, it will only take another 53 days to surpass the total lava emitted during the 2021 eruption, which will occur on September 26th of 2022. While the nature of the ongoing eruption could significantly change, a map has been made of the areas which could be inundated by fresh lava. As you can see, while lava could travel to the north and north-northwest, the majority of molten rock is most likely to travel to the southeast before turning southwest. If lava does eventually flow in that direction, it will become possible to view lava with only a very brief hike. While the alert level of the Krishavik volcanic system was initially raised to red, this was only done as a precaution in case some ash emissions occurred which might disrupt air traffic. Luckily, this did not occur, meaning that the ongoing eruption is near identical to its 2021 predecessor in that it is almost completely non-explosive with a 0 to 8 volcanic explosivity index rating of a 0. Although the eruption is non-explosive, it is still emitting a decent volcanic plume. For those of you witnessing the eruption in Reykjavik, you might note a bluish hue in the eruption plume. The reason it has this unusual tint relates to tiny sulfate aerosols which are primarily sulfur dioxide within it that scatter incoming sunlight producing a hue. Additionally, although there is little vegetation in the Icelandic tundra, as the lava field expands it will burn patches of moss and grasses causing additional potentially more colorful plumes to pop up as a result of small wildfires. While it is still early in the eruption, you can already see spatter cone vents beginning to form. Several of my viewers were confused by the news mentioning different Icelandic locations in reference to the ongoing eruption. Words such as Geldingadalr, Krishavik, and Fagra Dalsviak, so I will clarify what they are referencing. Geldingadalr is the name of the vents which erupted from March 19th to September 18th of 2021 southwest of the current eruption site. On the other hand, Fagra Dalsviak represents a volcano that originally formed beneath a thick glacier which forms a relatively flat high ground to oversee the eruption site from. And, Krishavik is the poorly defined volcanic complex which both aforementioned features are a part of that stretches across an area of 350 square kilometers. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Kelly Lynn Callahan for supporting this channel.